Okay, let's go ahead and solve this nice basic equation. So you can see we have negative 3.8m, so we're going to be solving for m, is equal to 31.16. Now a lot of you out there are going to say, oh, this is super easy, just give me a calculator and I'll give you the answer in like 10 seconds. And uh, I would expect uh, that most of you would use a calculator uh, to help you solve this problem, as you should, okay? But there's a reason why I don't want you to use a calculator for this particular problem. And I'll explain this more here in a second, but I'll just kind of give you a little bit of a hint of what I'm going to be talking about is this problem here is going to require us to divide decimals. I'll show you all those steps here in a second. But you still need to know your basic arithmetic for algebra, okay? All those techniques, you're going to say, well, no, I can just use my calculator. No, there's going to be things that you, that you study in algebra and more advanced algebra that a calculator will not help you out. You still have to remember the kind of the process, the procedures that you used with arithmetic. And I'll kind of explain this all a little bit later in the video. But if you want to go ahead and try to go down memory lane, for me, I learned all this uh, stuff way back in the 1970s, all this basic arithmetic. So it was a long time ago. Maybe some of you was in the 60s. Maybe some of you was uh, 10 years ago. Whatever the case is, if you forgot, that's fine. But just kind of challenge yourself. See if you could kind of remember how to do uh, basic division. And I'll show you the answer to this particular problem here in a second. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I'm telling you right now, you can be successful in mathematics. And I'm especially talking to those of you that are struggling in math or think you're bad at math, okay? That's not the case. But what you need to be great at math is great math instruction. Clear, understandable, and comprehensive so if you're at the middle school, high school, or college level, check out my math help program. You can find a link to it in the description of this video. It will make a huge uh, impact in your ability to be successful in math. If you happen to be preparing for a test with a math section, most of you are actually be taking a test like this. Things like entrance exams, placement exams, certification exams, SAT, ACT, AccuPlacer, Alex, maybe a teacher certification exam, ASVAB. I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you out. If you homeschool, check out my homeschool program for mathematics for middle school and high school. And if you need a pair of great math notes, hopefully you don't because you should be taking awesome notes right now. But if you need uh, some great math notes, I'm going to leave links to my notes in the description of this video. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that helps me out big time. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the solution to this problem, okay? Now, if you want to participate, I hope you do, just go and put your answer into the comment section. Now, uh, here's the deal. If you've forgotten how to do this um, by just using hand arithmetic, that's fine, at least use a calculator, but go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. But let me show you the answer right now. Okay, so this is the solution to this equation, m is equal to negative 8.2. Now, if you got this right, even with the aid of a calculator, I'm going to give you a nice little happy face, okay? If you were able to use a calculator, this is extremely easy to do. However, if you're able to do this by doing um, this without the aid of a calculator, then that is super awesome. I'm going to give you an A++, a 130%, and multiple stars, as that's pretty impressive that you remember how to uh, divide. But, yeah, I'm going to show you the ex exact steps to solve for M. But, anyways, this is the solution and if you want to kind of mess around with this problem, be a little bit more uh, before I, uh, you see the actual solution. Well, then pause the video, but let's get on to the actual mechanics to solve this problem. Okay, so we have negative 3.8m is equal to 31.16. So in algebra, to solve for this variable, I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by negative 3.8. So if you don't understand what I'm doing here, uh, you need to kind of review basic uh, linear equations, okay? You could find um, uh, all this like in my pre-algebra course. If you don't understand this, you're probably at the pre-algebra level. So uh, just a little bit of a uh, kind of a heads up if you need help with what I'm doing here, okay? So hopefully all of you are saying, okay, yes, I knew that was the steps. We have to divide both sides by negative 3.8. So negative 3.8 divided by negative 3.8 is a positive. Remember, negative divided by negative is positive, okay? And here... We're going to be dividing, dividing both sides of the equation by negative 3.8. So, well, you know, let me just finish up on this side, okay? Negative divided by negative is positive, so that's positive 1, okay? Any number divided by itself is, a, is 1, so this is a positive 1. 
So this is 1M, okay? So uh, people go, oh, that's M. Well, it's really a 1M, but we don't typically write, write it this way. We write it this way, okay? So this is our solution, M. That's what we were looking for. But now over here, we have a positive number being divided by a negative number. So what's a positive divided by a negative? Hopefully, you said negative. All right, so if you plug this into your calculator, you know, we're like, okay, 31.16 divided by negative uh, 3.8. Uh, your answer will be negative 8.2. Now, a little, little side note, uh, if you do use your calculator, uh, this is kind of quickly talk about this. So here you have these different uh, math operation buttons, plus, minus, multiplication, division. A lot of people confuse this right here as the negative uh, to make it a, a number negative on your calculator. That's not the case. Look for a little button like this, okay? This is how you create negative numbers in your calculator. You should have something like that. It's different than the subtraction operator. Okay, so what are we gonna be talking about in terms of not using a calculator? Well, we wanna do this division here, this 31.16 divided by negative 3.8. We wanna do this by hand, okay? We don't wanna use a calculator. We know this is going to be the answer. So this is the problem, okay? Now, a lot of you are, are like, all right, I don't wanna do this anymore. I left this back in the fourth and fifth grade. You're gonna make me do this torturous problem? Well, yes, because this problem here uses something called the division algorithm, okay? And you, we need this in more advanced algebra, okay? The division algorithm is the steps. It's how you learn division, okay? You're like, Oh, okay, how did I do this? How this goes in this? And then you just do all these different steps. Well, that's like a little computer program that you run called the division algorithm. And later on in algebra, you're going to learn how to actually divide things like polynomials into one another. Okay, I'm just kind of making something up. So here you have like x, uh, x squared minus x plus 1 divided by x plus 2. Okay, well, we can't plug this into our calculator, but we're going to have to use the division algorithm, which is effectively the same thing that we have to do here. Okay, so you do have to remember this stuff. So maybe some of you are like, oh, my goodness, I got to have to go back and do that. Well, yeah, it's not that difficult. It's like riding a bike. You know, once you start, you know, um, doing a few of these problems, you'll remember. Okay, so um, hopefully you had a chance to attempt this. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the actual solution now. Okay, so when we're dividing by decimals, uh, this is just not regular division. Let's say you have 33 divided by 3116, okay? So here, the decimal points here, the decimal points here. So, you know, I'm assuming, hopefully, that you can still do a problem like this. So what makes this problem a little bit more interesting is that not only do you have to remember how to do something like this, we got to deal with the decimal points, okay? So how do we deal with decimal points? Well, remember... Uh, what you do is you look at this number here, okay, the 3.8, okay, the answer is going to be the quotient, all right, and we're going to need to move this decimal such that it's a whole uh, decimal point such that it's a whole number, okay, so I'm just going to be speaking in loose language here, uh, so this 3, uh, 3.8, we got to move that over, okay, so it becomes 38, okay, so 38 is the same thing as 38.0. Uh, so if you're saying, where's the decimal point go? Well, it didn't go away. We just moved it behind the 8. Okay, so that's what we have to do, make this into a nice whole number. But when we move that decimal point over, we also got to move the decimal point over here. Okay, so to create this into a nice whole number like 38, this now becomes 311.6. Uh, okay, so we move that decimal point right here. Now, what does that mean? Well, now you could just do this as a regular division problem, but our answer in our quotient, the decimal point is going to be right there. Okay, it's going to be right there. So we're going to have some numbers in front of here, and we're going to have some numbers behind there, but this is where the decimal point location will be. Okay, so hopefully some of you are like going, oh yeah, I kind of remember that. Well, let's go ahead and see this work now and uh, finish this problem up. Okay, so like regular division, you're going to say, okay, 38, can 38 go into 3? Nope. Can 38 go into uh, 31? Nope. Can 38 go into 311? Yes, it can. Okay, so you remember how we do division. I'm sure you had great elementary school teachers. You're like, okay, how many times is 38 going to 311? And you just do something, you know, um, you know, you test the numbers out, 38 times 7, 
38 times 10, which of course is 380, that's too big. We're like, oh, what uh, fits just right, 38 times eight. So 38 goes into 311 eight times, okay? So now we gotta go eight times 38 is 304, okay? So now we're gonna subtract 304 from 311 and we get seven. All right, so now notice here I have eight because eight is at, well, on this 311, notice where I put the eight, that's important. So it's gonna be eight point, okay? Whatever I have right here is gonna be the, uh, the, uh, uh, the rest of the quotient, okay? Kind of stumbled there with my thoughts, but basically this is where the decimal point is at. Eight point something is going to be the answer. So now we're like, okay, 38, uh, 38 goes into seven how many times? Well, 38 can't go into seven, so what do we do? Okay, oh, you can see I'm, I'm going to show you the answer here in a second. Well, we got to drop that that number down, right? Six. So we got to drop that number all the way down. Okay, this six here. So now we have 76. Now uh, we ask ourselves, oh, 38 can go into 76. How many times? Two. Exactly two times. So we're going to put our answer right there. So the final answer is 8.2. However, remember that our answer. Now I probably failed to. Um, state this up front. You're, some of you are probably saying, well, look, you just dropped the negative sign here. Well, what I did was this. I know that I'm dividing a, um, a positive number by a negative number, so I know my answer, my quotient, well, actually, I wrote it here, but I just didn't mention it, is going to be negative. I know my final answer is going to be negative, so I'm just going to forget that negative sign there, just do this problem. I just know my answer will be negative. So down here, uh, when I did this nice, lovely work, Okay, I will put a negative sign there. And this is an illustration of the division algorithm. Okay, that's a very specific, not uh, algebra, an algorithm, which is a basically computer program. Okay, all these steps that we, you know, we took, we're like, okay, this doesn't go into that. How much, you know, then you're like, this times this, subtract that, drop this, da, 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 da. This is the computer program that you're running, and you're going to need to know this in algebra. So, um, when it comes to mathematics, like arithmetic and things like that, you do want to kind of you know, brush off those cobwebs from time to time, especially if you're going to be taking more advanced math. But if you were able to do this entire problem correctly, boy, that is super impressive. Matter of fact, let me go back up to this little happy face here. And I think I'm going to give you an A++, and I'm going to give you a few more stars. Matter of fact, if you were able to do this and you were you know, like in my pre-algebra course, I would strongly consider just saying, you know what, take the rest of the year off because that is pretty impressive. I'm not sure what you're doing. Maybe you're watching that guy on YouTube. But uh, listen, uh, for those of you that forgot this stuff because it was like 50, 60 years ago, don't feel too bad. But try to kind of relearn some arithmetic, okay? Uh, uh, you know, you never know when you're going to be able to to have to do something. You don't have your cell phone available. You know, I know most of us have in our phone. We're like, we got everything on our phone uh, or a calculator and you might have to do something by hand. You just never know, okay? All right, so hopefully this video helps you out. Again, if you want to explore more basic mathematics, I'm gonna give you two suggestions here. Um, one, I have a nice little mini course called my Math Foundations course. It's like a three chapter course, but it goes over all the basic, you know, how to add, subtract, multiply, divide place values, uh, percent. It's an excellent kind of starter course if you're getting back into mathematics. And if you need uh, more help with basic equations, you might want to check out my pre-algebra course. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.